Daryktų, gyvenimas gražus. Nereikia žilvinti. Ne. Nereikia žilvinti. Nereikia. Welcome to the Jill channel. Welcome to the Jill channel. Welcome to the Jill channel. He is always late. Always, always late. Welcome to another episode of Life in Lithuania. Come close, come close. So I'll show you a typical Lithuanian village and how everything looks like from above. So, on the left, you see some houses, a road, a tree, and then if you scroll to the right, you see some houses, some trees, and some buildings. That's it. And that's a typical village for you. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you something that I have in our basement. What's up guys? Welcome to my granddad's basement. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Yeah. It has a lot of pretty cool stuff. A lot of modern things, a lot of old things, but overall it is very cool. It has uh, <laughs> a med kit that's probably 20, 30 years old. So it's still good to cure radioactive disease. It's like a work station. You can see a lot of like old things like hammers and hammers, these are like big, huge things to fix huge things like machinery because obviously in the Soviet times everything was big your machinery your your car your, okay the cars were small that involved tech so let's have a look so this is an old electricity um, that, that, that's about it that's about it but there's something I really wanted to show you I don't know why but my granddad was collecting a lot of keys can you give me the phone I'll show you the viewers something weird and strange Look at all these keys. Like, why? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, 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 there's so many keys. It's insane. It is incredible. What would you do with all these keys? And yeah, and I guess that concludes, that concludes the tour of the cellar. Also, have a look at this. Approximately 10 hours later. Welcome. <laughs> so, if you ever wondered what is that building right behind me? Well, it is basically an old shop that used to sell food back in the Soviet days. Used to sell food, meat, different kinds of like groceries. But everything was very limited, so people had coupons that they could use in order to get exchange those coupons for food. My grandma, from my dad's side, she was working there, and she was working there until they closed it, until they shut it down. And now it's just left for history just to, you know, deter the building. How everything kind of looked. You had a lot of these uh, shelves over there that you see in the corner uh, of, of surrounding this, this part of the wall. I was here when I was sick to, to take this building away. We don't know what's gonna happen. The government doesn't have obviously the money to like knock it down, otherwise it would have done so already. So hey ho. Um, that's it. That concludes our tour. One more thing, let me show you a typical street 
Geen doekster. Typical street. There you go. 